Family Pictures by Carmen Lomas Garza. The pictures in this book are all painted from my memories of growing up in Kingsville, Texas, near the border with Mexico. From the time I was a young girl, I always dreamed of becoming an artist. I practiced drawing every day. I studied art in school, and I finally did become an artist. My family has inspired and encouraged me for all those years. This is my book of family pictures. The Fair in Reynosa. My friends and I once went to a very big fair across the border in Reynosa, Mexico. The fair lasted a whole week. Artisans and entertainers came from all over Mexico. There were lots of booths with food and crafts. This is one little section where everybody is ordering and eating tacos. I painted a father buying tacos and the rest of the family sitting down at the table. The little girl is the father's favorite and that's why she gets to tag along with him. I can always recognize little girls who are their father's favorite. Oranges. We were always going to my grandparents' house, so whatever they were involved in, we would get involved in. In this picture, my grandmother is hanging up the laundry. We told her that the oranges needed picking, so she said, well, go ahead and pick some. Before she knew it, she had too many oranges to hold in her hands, so she made a basket out of her apron. That's my brother up in the tree picking oranges. The rest of us are picking up the ones that he dropped on the ground. For dinner. This is my grandparents' backyard. My grandmother is killing a chicken for dinner. My grandfather is in the chicken coop trying to catch another chicken. Later, my family will sit down to eat Sunday dinner, chicken soup. That's me in the blue dress with my younger brother, Arturo. He was so surprised by the scene that he started to spill his snow cone. He had never seen anything like that before. I knew my grandparents had always raised chickens, but I never knew how the chickens got to be soup. birthday party. That's me hitting the pinata at my sixth birthday party. It was also my brother's fourth birthday. My mother made a big birthday party for us and invited all of friends, cousins, and neighborhood kids. You can't see the pinata when you're trying to hit it because your eyes are covered with a handkerchief. My father is pulling the rope that makes the pinata go up and down. He will make sure that everybody has a chance to hit it at least once. Somebody will end up breaking it, and that's when all the candies will fall out and all the kids will run and try and grab them. Cakewalk. Cakewalk was a game to raise money to send Mexican-Americans to the university. You paid 25 cents to stand on a number. When the music started, you walked around and around. When the music stopped, whatever number you happened to step on was your number. Then one of the ladies in the center would pick out a number from a can, from the can. If you were standing on the winning number, you would win a cake. That's my mother in the center of the circle in the pink and black dress. My father is serving punch. I'm the little girl in front of the store scribbling on the sidewalk with a twig. Picking Nopal Cactus. In the early spring, my grandfather would come and get us and would, we'd all go out into the woods to pick Nopal Cactus. My grandfather and mother are slicing off the fresh, tender leaves of the Nopal and putting them in boxes. My grandmother and my brother, Arturo, are pulling leaves from the mesquite tree to line the boxes. After we got home, my grandfather would shave off all the needles from each leaf of cactus. Then my grandmother would parboil the leaves in hot water. The next morning, she would cut them up and stir fry them with chili powder and eggs for breakfast. Hammerhead Shark. This picture is about the times my family went to Padre Island in the Gulf of Mexico to go swimming. Once, when we got there, a fisherman had just caught a big hammerhead shark at the end of the pier. How he got the shark to the beach, I never found out. It was scary to see because it was big enough to swallow a whole kid. Rabbit. My grandfather used to have a garden and also raised chickens and rabbits. 
In this painting, he is coming into the kitchen with a freshly prepared rabbit for dinner. My grandmother is making tortillas. That's my little brother Arturo sitting on the bench. He liked to watch my grandmother cook. And that's my younger sister Margie playing jacks on the floor. I'm watching from my grandparents' bedroom, which is next to the kitchen. Joseph and Mary seeking shelter at the inn. One of each of the nine nights before Christmas, we act out the story of Mary and Joseph seeking shelter at the inn. We call this custom Las Posadas. A little girl and a little boy play Mary and Joseph, and they are led by an angel. Each night, the travelers go to a different house. They knock on the door. When the door opens, they sing, We are Mary and Joseph looking for shelter. At first, the family inside refuses to let them in, and the travelers sing again. At last, Joseph and Mary are led into the house. Then everybody comes in and we have a party. Making tamales. This is a scene from my parents' kitchen. Everybody is making tamales. My grandfather is wearing blue overalls and a blue shirt. I'm right next to him with my sister Margie. We're helping to soak the dried leaves from the corn. My mother is spreading the cornmeal dough on the leaves and my aunt and uncle are spreading meat on the dough. My grandmother is lining up the rolled and folded tamales ready for cooking. In some families, just the women make tamales, but in our family, everybody helps. Watermelon. It's a hot, sum it's a hot summer evening. The whole family's on the front porch. My grandfather had brought us some watermelons that afternoon. We put them in the refrigerator and let them chill down. After supper, we went out to the front porch. My father cut the watermelon and gave each one of us a slice. It was fun to sit out there. The light was so bright on the porch that you couldn't see beyond the edge of the lit area. It was like being in our own little world. The Virgin of San Juan. A mother and son have gone to church, and she's doing some praying. In the meantime, her son starts entertaining himself by taking things out of her purse. She lets him for a while. Then he hands her a handkerchief. I don't know if he thought that maybe she was crying and needed her handkerchief, or whether she was he was just playing with it and she took it from him. Healer. This is uh, this is a scene at my at a neighbor's house. The lady in bed was very sick with the flu. She had already been to a regular doctor and had gotten prescription drugs for her chest cold, but she had also asked a healer, a curan curandera, to do a final cleansing or healing for this flu. So the curandera came over and did a cleansing using branches from the root tree. She also burned copal incense in a coffee can at the foot of the bed. Curanderas know a lot about healing. They are very highly respected. Beds for dreaming. My sister and I used to go up on the roof on summer nights and just stay there and talk about the stars and the constellations. We also talked about the future. I knew since I was 13 years old that I wanted to be an artist. And all of those things that I dreamed of doing as an artist, I'm finally doing now. My mother was the one who inspired me to be an artist. She made up our beds to sleep in and, get, and have regular dreams. But she also laid out the bed of our dreams of the future.